I'm sorry to keep my guests waiting. I believe this is the first time we've met. I am the master of this house. Clavis Alucard of the Vampires. This is my loyal butler, Valkenhain. And this is my little girl, Rachel Alucard. How do you do? healing magic. It is a moot point to continue. But no! How pathetic. You're... Rachel. Do not address me as if I'm a commoner. Quite déclassé. The hell'd you say? Do you wish to save that beastkin? We can save him? Why would I ask that question if the answer is no? If you can help Mr. Mitsuyoshi, please do! I beg you! And you? Huh? Me? Do you not want to save him? Obviously, I do. If you know a way to save him, then spit it out already! Well then, I believe there is a proper and an improper way to ask for favors. Fine, I'll say it nicely. Please, help save Mitsuyoshi. Very well. Since you've asked nicely, I shall take you there. Take us where? My house, obviously. Um, is Mr. Mitsuyoshi going to be okay? Don't worry, he looks in bad condition, but it's no longer life-threatening. He's resting in the room to the back. I'm sure he'll wake soon. I see. Thank goodness. Man, he gave us a real scare there. I guess Beastkin are really tough cookies. Now, Miss Selica and Mr. Ragna, I apologize for bringing the two of you here into my quarters. Normally, I would have only teleported Mitsuyoshi here. But it seems Rachel has really taken a shining to the two of you. Hey, Gramps. Just now you said you would have teleported only Mitsuyoshi back here. Does that mean you're the one who sent him after Shuichiro? How dare you speak so brazenly to Master Clavis? What, you got a problem with that? <laughs> what a feisty little guest we have today. Valkenheim, it's okay. Apologies, Master Clavis. We were talking about Mitsuyoshi? It is as you say. I gave Mitsuyoshi the orders. But why? My father isn't doing anything dangerous. You must be Professor Ayatsuki's little daughter. Y yes 
Fate has brought us together like this. Then perhaps I have an obligation to tell you what I know. Once upon a time, mankind excavated what we now call a cauldron. Today they are found in various places around the world. However, they are connected to the boundary. Humans fascinated by it soon discovered something existed on the other side. The Master Unit. The Master Unit? To humans, it could be considered a deity. So they created the Takamagahara system to manage the flow of information to and from the boundary, and attempted to make contact with the Master Unit. Shuichiro Ayatsuki was attempting to create a separate system, one that would replace the Takamagahara, something that could enter the boundary and even make contact with the Master Unit, the Kusanagi. Why would Father do such a thing? Now, that much I do not know. Nevertheless, his experiments went far beyond the knowledge mankind possessed at the time. That is why I immediately told Mitsuyoshi to stop the smelting process, but not in time. And that's how the Black Beast appeared. That is correct. Did Father's experiments really... Once Mitsuyoshi heals, I intend to send him after Professor Ayatsuki once more. What you two decide to do is up to you. However, I suggest you get some rest. I shall have Valkenheim prepare a room and meal for you. You must cherish your youth while you still have it. Miss Selica, please use this room. Should you need anything, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you very much, and I'm sorry for causing all this trouble. I will pass your gratitude along to Master Clavis. If there is nothing else, I shall excuse myself. Uh, oh, right. Good night. Looks like I'm much more tired than I thought. I wonder if Ragna's okay. And how's Mr. Mitsuyoshi doing? I really caused them a lot of trouble, but... Once more. <gasps> yes? Oh, Ragna. What's the matter? Uh, oh, I was just wondering what you were up to. You know... You're surprisingly very normal. Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Sure, I might not be my sister, but it's important to seek balance and proportions, you know? A man might not really understand this concept, but size isn't everything, you know? I think I lost the thread to this conversation. I was just worried you might be a little down because of everything that happened today. I was checking up on you. You know, because we couldn't find your father and everything that old man told you earlier. Despite all of that, you were very relaxed, which is why I said normal. So, you were worried about me? Eh, that's not what I'm trying to say. Oh, come on. You don't have to be that shy. I know you're a really nice person. <sighs> so, what are you going to do about your father? Well, probably continue to search for him. 
even after everything Clav has said? Of course. That's the reason why I came all the way over here in the first place. My father is my father. I'm here because I'm worried about him. Not necessarily to find out the truth. He might not be treated so kindly, given what we know. Even then, I have to find him. If he really did do something bad, then he needs to apologize. If not, well then, we need to explain that to everyone. I believe in my father. Even if the entire world is against him and says he did bad things, I will still say that I love him, that I wanted to see him so badly, that I was worried. I see. Well, if you decided that's what you're going to do, then so be it. I'll join you. If we've made it this far, I need to get one good look at your father before I go. Then we get to be together some more, right? Yay! Whoa there! Why'd you dodge? Because you keep jumping onto me. Oh, come on! Who cares? We both need a friend here, so far from home. <laughs> Are you an idiot? Come on, you're not a little kid waiting for summer vacation anymore, so you should get some rest. Okay. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Ragna! Hmm? Thanks for looking out for me. I'm counting on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ragna. Celica, give up. You know, I think it's not good to jump to conclusions. Everything needs to be observed calmly. We've observed this calmly, and this is where it got us. Now accept it and give up. We went the wrong way, and we're lost. I'm not lost! I just don't know where we are on this map. That is exactly what being lost means. That's strange. Clavis was kind enough to mark up the map in right directions, so I was so sure this time. Just give me the map. Nothing good ever happens when you're holding it. No, let me try a little more. Just give this to me. Huh? Get down, Celica. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Huh? Oh! Hey! Was that attack your guys is doing? Celica, stay back. Sister! Trinity! Sister? Ah! Oh, god damn it, that hurt! What the hell was that for? Whoa, 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 just, just wait a second, okay? Hey, hey, calm down for now, yeah? Tell me what I did. What you... Why do I need a reason to vaporize you right here? I don't know what you're saying. Let me help you remember by feeding it back into you. No one fools around with my kid sister. When I'm done with you, your limbs may no longer be attached to your body. Whoa! That was close. Ragna! Above you! What? Die! Gotta be kidding me. What the hell are you? <laughs> you sheathed the pretty big sword, so I was wondering what kind of challenge you'd be. Turns out you were a pushover. You weren't even worth casting a single spell. Why, you? You should feel honored, you know. I'm going to fight you worthless human scum personally. 
Sister, stop it! Stop this! Ragna's not a bad guy! Celica, stay out of this. Knowing you, he probably bought you a nice dinner, so you're assuming he's a good person. But can you trust him? That's not true! Ragna really is a nice person! Anyone's a nice person to you. <laughs> I expected you to be searching for that man. And here I find you wasting time, tricked by some hooligan. Listen, Celica. I'm going to explain this to you one more time. Any man who acts nicely around a cute and innocent little girl like you probably has one thing on their mind. And this pathetic excuse for a man is no exception. It would be best for society if I just took him out of the gene pool right here. You can't just say whatever the hell you want about me. Keep that up and I'll make you pay for it. A punk like you would have problems with the truth. Besides, what the hell? Why won't you listen to what I have to say for a change? First off, I was not going after your sister. She found me injured when I was collapsed on the side of the road and it was convenient for us to travel together. I'm helping her find her father. Besides, you don't have to be so hard on Celica, do you? It's been six years since your dad disappeared. I don't think it's fair to say what she's trying to do is foolish. Have you thought about her feelings? Ragna? <laughs> Spoken like you actually understand. Huh? Who the hell asked for your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking to Celica like she's your friend, you passerby, lowlife tail chaser! And get your dirty hands off of her, you hear me? Sister, stop that already! Hello? How about we rest up a little bit over here, yes? We can all have some tea together. Ugh. Oh, okay, Trinity. All right, you're all set. It wasn't even that much of an injury. You really didn't have to use your healing magic, you know? I'm doing it because I like it. Don't worry. Besides, it's free. Okay. You're Ragna, correct? I'm really sorry about earlier. My name is Trinity Glassville, and this little girl over here is Nine. I'm sure you already put two and two together, but Nine is Celica's older sister. Nine? Of course that's not her real name. She holds the ninth seat in the Order of Ten Sages, which is why we call her Nine. Huh, makes sense. I don't need to give some low-life scumbag my name. Celica, we're not roaming around here for another day. We're going home. <laughs> well, wait, sister! I don't want to go home yet, I can't! What are you talking about? Do you really expect to be able to find a man who has gone missing for six years? You're not going to find him, so why even bother trying? That's not true! Aren't you worried about father? If he's doing okay, or even if there's just a slim chance we'll be able to find him, I... What's the point in finding that out? So what if he's alive? So what if he's not? You want to find him and then go play family? All three of us under one roof? No, that's not what I mean. It's not like that. I'm just trying to find him. Nine, you really shouldn't scold Celica that much, you know? Why don't you just tell her how you honestly feel? That you were really worried, and you're relieved she's all right. That's what I've been doing. Uh, nope. You really haven't. What's that? Uh, nothing. So, I know this might hurt more than it helps, but I'd like to ask all the same. A guy we got to know along the way said we might be able to find a clue right here. So, why don't you let her roam around a bit more? District 1. You know the place? Well, if anyone said anything related to the Black Beast in this area, it's more than likely District 1. So, you knew that your father was involved in the Black Beast incident? Huh? The Mage's Guild is the one leading the investigation regarding the Black Beast. 
Obviously, we would know. That's why you were against Selica searching for your father. You're just a, a passerby. Don't speak like you know what we're going through. I just didn't like his experiments, that's all. <sighs> all right, this is the last stop. You got it? Sister! If he doesn't turn up in District 1, assume that he's passed away and return home. Got it? Yeah, got it! Then does that mean that we're... <laughs> Obvious. Knowing Selica, she probably got lost. I'll take her to District 1, so put that useless map away. Thank you! You're the best! This is really the last time, you know? I know, I know! <laughs> what a couple they make. <laughs> Aren't they friendly? Yeah. <laughs>